So let me show you an example of the most common problem in HPLC, and that is an air bubble in the pump. By far the number one cause of problems in LC. And let me show you how we could tell what's going on. First of all, uh, if you look at the screen here, you could see what I'm plotting here in red is the pressure. Now, the pressure should be really constant, uh, should be pretty flat. Remember, we call that the pressure ripple should be less than 2%. And here I'm seeing uh, the pressure jumping from, you know, uh, 20 to 37. So clearly there's something um, not quite right with the instrument. So the pressure is probably the best insight into troubleshooting in the pump. So when we have a lot of pressure variability, we call this pressure ripple, so it's less than 2%, and this is probably 200%. Um, that usually means 99% of the time you got an air bubble in the pump. So notice the, uh, uh, the pump pressure fluctuating. Also, if we look at the blue baseline itself, if we look at our UV signal, what you can tell is it's also sort of bouncing around. Okay, so we're gonna fix this air bubble in the pump. Uh, and the way we do it is we're gonna go over, we're gonna open up the purge valve and just open it all the way up. And I'll even take off the pump cover. And sometimes we could see a little bit of liquid. Here we could see this air bubble sort of that's causing this called cavitation inside the first, uh, the, the pump number two. So uh, just by opening it up, it's gonna allow that air bubble to flow. But more importantly, we're gonna take the flow rate up to five mils a minute. And by doing that, it's just gonna flush that thing out. So now I've got my pump B, it's running 90-10, but pump B is running at five mils a minute and that air bubble is completely gone. This is my own little trick. I like to start turning in the needle valve. You probably see these little air bubbles coming out. The way I think of it is this is a needle valve, which means there's a big, there was a big air bubble in there. I got rid of 99% of it, but that little bit of an air bubble is still there. I like to, uh, without going all the way in, I like to get close to the end just to flush out that last little bit of air bubble. And then before we close the purge valve, make sure you set the flow rate back to your typical flow rate. For me, it's two mils a minute. And then when we close the valve, hopefully what we'll see is our pressure stability come back. So the pressure jumps way up. And... Uh, Let's see if I get it on scale for us. So now that I've closed the valve, you can imagine the pressure is building up uh, to the pressure that it should be on this column. So here we're back in our uh, 280 kind of, uh, kind of format. This is sort of fun that if you could see before I started, before I got the air bubble in the pump, this was my pressure fluctuation. And you can see it's bouncing from what, 262 to 262 and a half really nice small number uh, and then when I got the air bubble in the pump we saw that gigantic fluctuation and now that I have gotten rid of the air bubble we should see this come back down to our tiny little fluctuation that we were seeing before so once the pressure stabilizes out we can go in here and uh, and take a little closer look at the pressure ripple so um, when I look at pressure ripple I just look at the uh, the plus or minus um, and I know this baseline is still still climbing, but even here you can see that it's going as high as 262.9, as low as 262.5. So uh, if you think about that, that's gonna be um, you know less than a quarter percent ripple. So that's gonna be a, a really small number. And now we can see it again, start to stabilize out. And again, notice that we don't have that much of a pressure fluctuation. Um, if you were uh, paying attention during the last video, there's a little tool in here, if we go to the diagnosis screen, where we can actually see what that pressure ripple is, simply by clicking on the pump, and then clicking on the pressure valve itself, and sure enough, our pressure ripple is down to 0.18%. Beautiful number, remember it's supposed to be less than 2%. So, that is air bubble in the pump. It is by far the number one cause of problems in HPLC. It is a simple solution. Open the purge valve, turn the flow rate to five mils a minute, let it sit there for, I don't know, 10, 20 seconds, and then back to normal flow rate, close the purge valve. That takes care of the number one problem you'll run into in HPLC. 
So hopefully that helps. If you have suggestions about other videos, other maintenance things you'd love to see, uh, let me know. I'm happy to help out, happy to do it.